You were second. And what is second? First to lose. Look at this competition. It's a joke. What, what is this? Second? Are you serious? I can't stand being second. You were this close, and you blew it. Maddie is given a solo this week. It's in the junior division, and she's going to be competing head to head against Ava. And I don't think we have anything to worry about. Mackenzie beat Ava, just saying. I was only 12 years old. Saw you in the newspaper. I thought Maddie was beautiful. She looked like something special. In second place, someone special, Maddie. She's second. How is she second? And in first place, the myth of the mermaid, Ava. What? What is this? It's a joke. Guess what? The judges hear her. Like, that's disrespectful to them. Nothing else the man said could be taken seriously. All right, girls, we're going to do something a little different. Today, Everybody who will be sitting in the audience, you will be voting on Maddie or Chloe. Here's another one of Abby's twisted lessons, the politics of dance. I get that you have to vote, and everybody gets a vote, and someone wins, and someone loses. But it doesn't make it any easier to vote against your friends. So you get to judge on the performance. It's up to you to go in there and make a choice. The dance competition world is a much bigger picture. Kids don't always understand. I want to see if this boat helps them and see what the judges are seeing. Just because somebody's your friend doesn't mean that they're going to show favoritism towards you. Put your ballots. There you go. OK. Thank you. We're going to keep these safe and sound, and we're going to count these votes later. Everybody back off. In the junior solo division, Second place, entry number 29. Am I here to stay? I'm shocked that Chloe got second. And to be honest, I haven't seen Chloe dance this well in a long time. And in first place, entry number 30. I'm trying. Maddie! Maddie was close to perfection. Her technique was flawless, and the emotional execution is always heartfelt. That's why Maddie wins. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three. Maddie wins. Now, Abby, next time two of your kids go head to head in the category, you're going to have everybody vote because you've never done this before. And it's just clearly a way to make Chloe feel bad about herself. It's a competitive world, whether it be politics or dance or school. But you have a lot of other kids who go and do stuff, but you don't call them out on it. You only pick on mine. Oh, you're welcome. I look up, and the spacing is off. And I'm like, oh, geez, Abby's going to freak out on the girls. I don't know what those girls were doing. They got out there and blew it. What was I expecting? They couldn't even remember the choreography in class. How could they get out there and do it perfectly on stage? Frankly, I was afraid to even watch the trio. The trio coming in second place means they lost. Remember, second place is the first loser on stage. There was a big gap there. I wasn't happy with how you did. You at least got to give some positive to those kids. I just don't like enabling kids to keep. I support <laughs> that, but I think you can prepare kids to take ownership of mistakes without belittling them. You know what? Own it. I had a bad day. My kids screwed up. You made my daughter cry. And you're she didn't remember the number. Abby, how many dances Maybe does that kid remember it. every week and go out there and deliver them? I don't know, but you know the one I remember? The one where she forgot her dance on stage at nationals and ran around to music. That's the one I remember. Of course it is, because you are negative Nelly, glass half full. Um, Kalani's solo is called False. And basically, it's don't listen to all the false negative things that Abby and the minis and the mini moms have said about you. This is Kalani's moment to shine. Kalani finally has a solo that showcases Kalani. Yes, 
Kalani. That was so good. Kalani needs to win to show and prove to everybody how truly talented she is. Second place, and number 82, Paul. First place in the team solo category goes to enter number 88. How will I know? Woo! Woo! Three, yeah. When you sit there as a teacher and cheer that loud for another child to beat Kalani, you're dead to me. So do you enjoy like clapping really loud when somebody beats Kalani? You think that's good behavior of I a didn't teacher? I didn't want to say anything, but I'd rather speak when she's present. I don't think you need to speak to her at I'm this point. It. Your behavior of clapping that loud at someone beating Kalani is disgusting. I was thrilled that kid won. That's number one reason um, I didn't hate you before, but I absolutely do hate you now. OK, girls, Maddie's not with you. We're going against everybody in Ohio. Then you also have the Wicked Witch of the West. We can do this without Maddie. And Even though she's a part of our team and she's one of our team members, we can, we can, win, without we can, we can win without her. Thing to worry about. They were amazing. Good enough to win. Second overall goes to act number 112. Tell me what you want. And our first overall in the team small group category goes to act number 111. Stand up. one thing I hate more than coming in second, it's coming in second to the Rotten Apples. Yes, our turn to be on time, our, the prop being the right spot, and the dad being the So no one and up. Most of all, let's clap with her. Yes. From Abby Lee Dance Company. We go back to her, and then we go out, so that's on one. For one, two, three. This is Hazy. specifically asked when to go, and now it's my fault. I just don't understand. I just don't understand. Was, I said, follow Hannah. The thing is, we're not working as a team. Like, we keep proving Abby that she's right and that we can't do this without no, Brady, but... and now we prove that we can't do it without Savannah either. Second place, junior group. Hazy from Abby Lee Dance Company. Abby's gonna kill us. We got second. Now we're on a losing streak. So when I go in, I'm expecting to get screamed at. Girls, you didn't win. You were second. And what is second? First to lose. That's right. Unacceptable. Preteen groups. In second place, we have entry number 63, light as a feather, stiff as a board. When we got called a second place, I was so devastated because I actually thought we were gonna win this one today. Abby said, may the best team win, and obviously we didn't win. No, no tears, no, no tears. tears. You know Stop. what, they were better, they won. Life's not fair. Life is not fair, but you know what? These kids deserve better. You're wasting my time, and I'm not getting paid to stand down here and argue with you. Maddie, stop crying. Tell her to stop crying. The 
whole world's been waiting for Abby Lee to put somebody good up against Maddie. This is a showdown between the two of you. Kalani is going up against Stalker's daughter, Eva, and Maddie. I know she will win. Kalani is Abby's new star. Please welcome to the stage Kalani performing Dance in the Shadow. She stepped out on that stage and looked like a million bucks. Felt good? Yeah. Good. You haven't done a solo in a long time. You better not be rusty out there. Give it up for Maddie performing the judgment. There is only love. <laughs> Once again, my student stepped on stage like she owned it. Fourth place. Entry number 21, Dance in the Shadow, Kehlani. I'm completely shocked that Kehlani placed fourth overall. And the third highest solo today, My Own Way, Ava. And the second highest solo today, entry number 23, The Judgment, Maddie. Maddie beat Kehlani. Maddie's still my number one girl, but she's second. Look at this competition. It's a joke. Yeah, how did Ava beat Kalani? This is rigged, and I will say that. They're not even in a straight line. It looks like a freaking mess. Nobody's together. Nobody happy. even looks. They're all looking at each other because they don't even know the choreography. Well, if we could just stay off our phone and focus on the kids, maybe they could do it. This is not the ALDC, no. Junior Elite Competition Team. This is a hodgepodge of different dancers brought together. And it looks that. This is a disaster. Please welcome to the stage something to believe in. I think the fact that we don't have Maddie, we have two newbies in here who don't normally dance with our kids. So much is going on. I just hope that these kids can stay focused. The group number was so much better on stage than it was in the studio. They did amazing without Maddie. Not a misstep anywhere. They were great. Second place. Join me in congratulating act number 83, Something to Believe in, from the Abby Lee Dance Company. I can't stand being second. You were this close and you blew it. I don't like being second, you know that. If Maddie was here, would it have been first place? We don't know. This is really important. Yes, this could be big things for the rest of your life. Yeah? Got it? OK, so make sure that they know that you can act. I want them to feel bad for the little girl. I want them to see that abused child, yes? And I don't want it to be controversial. I want it to be so good that they have to love it. Kid, you can do this. You have what it takes. Go out there and just perform this number. When I stepped off stage, I started to cry because I was kind of sad that my mom wasn't there to watch me. In second place, disappear. They announced Maddie in second place. My throat, like, closed up. I was shocked. What were you thinking? The group number, it's more than a dance routine. I would call it a piece. I think it looks crazy good. We go out there, we do what the Abby Lee Dance Company is known for. That's coming to nationals and winning 
All right, let's go. Please welcome in his fall group, the Betty Groom. It was so moving. I had goosebumps. There's people behind me in tears, crying. In our overall small group category, in second place, the waiting room, Eddie Lee Dance Company. OK, we, we, I'm sorry, but girls, we need to walk out. I'm done. It's embarrassing. I was just shocked. We can't win all the time, but I thought we definitely should have won with this one. Let's go. Go that way. You can't do it. Yes, they can. It's yeah. illegal. One more, one more. You can't hold children against their will in the state of California. I think Abby's lost her mind again. 